What's going on guys? How's everybody doing today? I'm just hopping on here because we got a little project going on in Shirts and Stones right now. Figured I would show you guys, run through some numbers with you to show you the margins. Even if you don't screen print, don't have any screen print machine, never screen printed a shirt in your life, how easy it is to still be able to get those big screen print orders. What's up, Jason? What's up, Kristen? What's up, Herm? How are you? So what we got going on today is Devin and Philip are working on a big order for some screen print shirts. So I'm gonna flip the camera around here. So the shirts we're using for these are the A4 dry fit shirts. We have 300 of these shirts, all right? 300 of these shirts. And the shirts, we actually got the shirts from TSF for $4.49 per shirt, okay, of the A4. And then we got our screen print transfers over here that were running around 15 cents a transfer. So biggest thing when you're thinking about all of your transfer cost you also need to take into account your setup and design fees and you also need to take into account your shipping so if you have to ship it depending on how quickly you need it so we calculated it out that the transfer cost was 15 cents for the transfer and then we had about 12 dollars in shipping about 25 dollars setup and design fee divided that out by the 300 transfers and that came to about 12 cents per transfer. So our actual transfer cost was about 27 cents per transfer, okay? But we didn't have to do any work. We had to go online, we had to submit the actual design to 613 or F&M or any of the different screen print transfer companies out there. And then they're going to just knock that out and we don't have any work. Could you imagine, even though it's not a very detailed design, could you imagine going through and using heat transfer vinyl and having to weed all this? It would be a pretty easy weed. Everybody say hi to Devin. It would be a pretty easy weed just because it's pretty big cuts there, but it's still gonna be a lot more labor cost and time consuming to weed out. 300 of those they're all saying hi Devin so here's the thing is also you can compete with the big screen print companies because you don't have to charge a lot going on a dry fit shirt like these here all right we only charge eight dollars per shirt so you look at that and you think eight dollars you're gonna be like Matt you always say charge way more than that obviously they're doing 300 shirts so they're gonna get a good discount on it and with 300 shirts, let's run through the numbers here. I wrote them down. So we got a shirt from TSF for $4.49. Okay. By the way, we got 70 of you here and 14 likes. Click that like button real quick. $4.49 per shirt. 15 cent transfer, 12 cents per transfer in our setup and design fee and shipping. So we have a total with everything with the shirt and the transfer $4.76. So four seventy six dollars selling the shirt for $8. We got profit of $3.72 in each of those shirts. And then obviously you're going to have labor cost. So we timed it before we went live here. Took Devin about 30 seconds to press a shirt, get it all lined up, get it threaded, do the back of the shirt. And then we figured about 45 seconds on average by the time you get it folded up and get the next shirt. So 45 seconds per shirt. All right, it's going to take about three and a half hours probably to do the job. So depending on what you have, you might have a new employee. It might be uh, $8, a $10, a $15 employee, whatever it is. So three and a half hours, three hours, $15, $10 an hour employee, you got about $35 in labor cost. Okay, <clears throat> $15 an hour employee, you're going to have what, 50, a little over $50 in labor cost. But our actual profit on that, okay, our actual profit on that is gonna be about $972 
before our labor cost. Let's just say it's $50 in labor cost. That's still $922 profit. And the only thing you had to do was send the design to the company. They send you the transfers and then you press them for seven seconds each. So imagine all the work involved and getting the screens made and burning the screens and actually screen printing it all with all the inks, with all the cleanup, needing the room to be able to have that screen print machine. It's pretty insane. It's pretty insane. And exactly like Todd's saying, as you get going and as you get moving, you get in a little rhythm, 45 seconds, that's overestimating it a little bit. So it's probably going to be around that 30 second range, just getting it threaded, lined up, press, done, move to the next one. So any of you out there who are looking at doing bulk orders, it doesn't matter. You don't have to have, honestly, the only piece of equipment you need is a heat press. Oof, there's Philip. Hey, Philip. <laughs> Philip loves being on camera. <laughs> he was so dreading having to come get that phone. <laughs> he peeked around the corner like I didn't see him. Everybody says hi, Philip. All right, what kind of questions you guys got? So the A4 shirts, like I said, I got them from TSF. There's a couple other places that had them. Um, TSF was the best price as far as Philip. Philip actually called. Sale. They were on sale? Yeah. They were on sale. Philip even called the rep to see if he could get a better pricing. They said you needed to order 200 per size to get a better than what the sale pricing was. So we didn't have that much. What's up, Kelly? How are you? Chair looked amazing. Everybody see the chair Kelly did on the crafting page? Insane in Vegas insane but think about that guys that's if you have an employee that you have or if you don't have employees yet it's yourself doing it and it takes you three let's just say it takes you four hours to do the job and you're gonna your margins even selling the shirts for only eight dollars each you're making close to a thousand dollars you're making nine hundred and fifty dollars in that three hours that's pretty insane and that's where the screen print transfers come in. You don't have to go out and buy an expensive screen print machine. You don't have to get an auto. You don't, it's so easy with screen print transfers nowadays, you need to take advantage of that. Um, off subject moment, need to know Versicam info. My go-to is for always thinking, thinking I need to invest, Versicam's awesome. Um, here, gonna get a pet in that chair. So there is, the Versacam there. You can see, and I know a few of you were looking and asking the other day. And I'll go over here. Still using, I still talk to you guys about the Roland. This is this Roland's about 10 years old right here. ink setups here and that's where your white cartridge can go and everything we just have the cleaning solution in there so again i just got another one of the 30 inch but this is the vs 300i and those decals that i printed out the other day that i posted on facebook i will show you those real quick that's what these are here. So I just wanted to give a little different look. So I actually, this one here is the glitter from the wizard. So just to try to give it kind of a glitter texture to it, which looks pretty cool. And then that's just a clean version of the bulldog there. So it's not technically a glitter, it just gives kind of a look of the glitter, just like your mock-ups do. Yeah, the A4s are pretty comfortable. I like those as well. But that was just done with the... And I'll show you guys the sign. Did you guys see the sign that we put up out front yesterday? That was just using the basic sign vinyl. So, here is the sign here. 
that we did yesterday. So this is at the lowest print possible on the VersaCam. And you can see how clean this is. So this sign is probably, I'm gonna say 28 inches wide by probably three feet tall. But again, just for all of our local customers who come in, promoting our open house coming up August 31st. If you guys are in the area, definitely come by. We're gonna have some food. Sean's cooking up some amazing food. And we have all of our classes as well. What's up, Scott? Yeah, you're good. All right, moving back in here. Cam's machines, you guys saw the video on those. But come on over here and let's see here. So this is back here. I'm just using our FDC printable vinyl here. So we don't sell this yet. We are looking into some of the different materials so I will keep you guys updated on that. I'll keep you updated on that. What are the questions we got? Um, yes, that was the auto clam hat press that I walked by right there. You guys have all seen the setup. <laughs> all right, we're gonna head back to the office here. I know, that roller's nice, isn't it? Everybody say hi to Mariella. <gasps> What's up, Trisha P., first timer? All right, we're coming through here. Call center, everybody say hi to the call center. All right, so I'm actually just finishing up, and I'll show you guys, I'm just finishing up a video using Mr. Cameo. I'm getting a ton of requests for Cameo videos, so knocked one out here. I actually made a little phone holder with brick heat transfer vinyl layered on top of each other with the Silhouette Cameo and the graph tech blade and i'll tell you what guys it was insane let me see if i can find this sample cut here it is so this cut right here of these trw logos okay pierre just give us a call let us know but this cut right here of these trw logos is with the silhouette cameo okay but can you see these first two cuts there those first two cuts, those first two cuts were using the silhouette blade, okay? First two cuts using the silhouette. I didn't say the P word, Todd. <laughs> uh, I, know, I know exactly what you're talking about, right, Kelly? And this cut right here was when I used one of our TRW clean cut blades with the Graph Tech blade holder in the silhouette cameo so it cut through this brick perfect um you can see how thick this material is can you guys see the texture of it there the brick this is the brick 600 <laughs> see it kelly so i did the white and the blue and layered it and then i also put it on my laptop here so the video is me doing it for the laptop. Pretty sweet, isn't it? So I am in the process of editing that video now, and then I will get that posted here today. Um, do you use Versacam only for decals, printable vinyl signs, manner who said, are you able to use it for HDV and other material? Yes, Kyle. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be shooting out some videos um, using it for your heat transfer vinyl as well. There's a, there's all different types of printable heat transfer vinyl as well. Yep. 
What's the silhouette blade you use? The deep cut. I didn't use either the deep cut or I, Charles. I actually took, and I'll show you guys. I actually took the blade holder directly from my Graph Tech cutter. This is my Graph Tech blade. Okay. I took my blade and blade holder from my Graph Tech, my CB09, and dropped it into my Silhouette Cameo. Locked it down, and then we're good to go. So when it goes through and hits the pressure and does the ch -ch 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 -ch, it's not actually doing anything because it doesn't have that twist function, okay? But what it does is it has the top, as many of you know who have the graph tech to be able to adjust it, which makes it super simple. And man, I was... I was freaking amazed at how much better it cut using the clean cut blade. It was pretty sweet. It was pretty sweet. So if you do have, and I know a lot of you out there, I know a lot of you out there do have a Silhouette Cameo and you got a Graph Tech. So... I'm going to look into getting some of the CB09 blade holders. Just to let you know, I always tell you guys this stuff off the start anyway. You can get a cheap one on Amazon to use with your Cameo. Okay? You can use a cheap one. Um, the first cuts, I used the Silhouette Blade, Charles. So, go to Amazon, search CB09 blade holder, and you'll find them. You'll find them. It doesn't have to. Now... To get the actual Graph Tech blade holder, you're looking at about sixty to ninety dollars. Pretty expensive. F using it with your Cameo, you can go get a cheaper one online. You know, you guys know I always try and save you money. We don't currently offer them right now because I know there's not many people who are going to pay seventy dollars for a blade holder, especially when you can get a knockoff out there for next to nothing. The Trouble Twins are on. Is Pilar... What's up, Pilar? How are you? Oh, sweet. My video just finished editing. So I will get the video up. And in the video with the cameo here in the pink press, I actually go through the entire process of sending it from Designer Dish. How many cameo users are here? Of the 90 of you here right now, how many of you are cameo users? Let me know. But it's cool because these decals with the brick heat transfer vinyl kind of gives a 3D look. And that's the awesome part about it. That's the awesome part about it. Um, we got delayed two more days in Florida headed to... <laughs> See, a lot of you. A lot of you. Sweet. So you guys will like this. You'll like this video. And man, I was, I'm telling you guys, I was amazed at how sweet the clean cut blade cut this thing um let me see if i can real quick let me see if i'm still hooked up so i'm gonna see if i can't run through one for you here real quick while we're live we might as well right let's knock it out so i'm gonna come over here i'm gonna grab some of my blue all right let's go ahead and hit load just loaded my material in there, okay? You guys didn't know we don't get a cameo demo today, did you? And I'm doing all of it one-handed. So I just finished editing that. Let me come back over and I don't know, I closed down Silhouette. So let me open up Silhouette Studio here. And keep knocking out questions as you guys have questions. Keep throwing me some questions. But by the way, we got 98 of you here and 55 likes. That's not going to work. You guys know that doesn't work. Click that like button. Let's go. So, TRW logo. Let's go ahead and open up that. And I'm just going to get these off of here. And drag these back on. That looks good there. Let's go over to send. We got our cut lines all set up. I'm set right now at a speed of... Now, all of this right here, it doesn't matter again because I'm using that Graph Tech blade. 
So I'm not really worried about that. I have a speed set at six. All right. Ryan, what's up, dude? I shot you an email last night. Let me know if you got it. So good to go there. Let's go ahead and hook this up. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to hit send. Uh-oh. Look what I did. I forgot to change real quick. I did two passes. So this is probably, probably going to cut through my material here. I want to see though because I only have to do one pass on it. I always had it set up at two passes and because you always had to before. But using this Graftech blade, I don't necessarily have to do two passes anymore. So I can see it's running through the first pass. Now it's coming back through. And I want to see how much it cuts through this. How many of you here are heading to Long Beach? We got the Orlando show coming up. We have Long Beach coming up here in about a month. So those of you in California, you better come by the Long Beach show. So I can see I'm looking at my cut there. The downfall, the downfall to the actual long, um, cutting with the double cut is sometimes, especially on this thicker material, it's going to miss it just by a little bit and you'll get kind of weird thin lines. What up, Eddie? Going to be at Long Beach. Love it, dude. Yes, that Frank, I'm using the business edition right now. Go to the Orlando show. Awesome, Myra. Um, Ramon, in Long Beach is the NBM Long Beach show. So it's a trade show that we're going to be at doing all the different demos and classes and everything else. So they have a show in January and then they always have one later in the year, which is coming up here in August. There you go. Thanks, Tricia. August 15th through the 17th. Yep. So one thing about the, the cameo, obviously, it's a lot slower, okay, than Big Brother over here, the uh, Graph Tech. And I'm doing a double cut on this, so it's obviously taking longer. Now it's going to come, cut my little box around it. And you can see it's doing the double cut, which I didn't need to do. I'm, I'm interested to see how this cut comes out. And it's outside layer. Awesome, Ramon. Come on by. Heck yeah. It's a, little, it's a smaller show than the big ISS show each year. But different things come out at different times. So you get to see some new stuff. All right. Come over here. Let's unload this. Let's see if I can. Oh, look, it did. See that? See how it cut through? Which isn't necessarily a bad thing with this thicker material. The downfall to it is going to be when I get to this part of it here. Okay? So, a lot of you who always say, I do a double cut with the Cameo, and it still won't cut through the brick material... Look how easy that cut through it right there. And that's because I'm using that Graph Tech blade with the clean cut blade. So if I were to take this and let me load this back in. I'm going to come over to my setting here and I'm going to feed this through a little bit. And come back. I'm good to go. Now I'm going to come back over here and I'm going to take off and I'll show you because most of you guys are probably doing two passes. Okay. Take off that second pass and change it to just one pass and send. So like I said, it's going to come over here and try to do its settings, but it's not doing anything because I'm using this graph deck blade. All right. As that's cutting, what other questions we got? But like I said, I have... A whole video, a whole video on this coming out here in a little bit today. I just finished rendering. I got to get it up on YouTube, get the links and stuff. And, and it will also have 
a little coupon code for Bling Anything because it's talking about the Bling Anything material. So it'll have a one-time, your next order coupon code on that stuff right there, Bling Anything material. And then we got our Roland GS24 over here. All right, this is running through. What else we got? We got some Crystal Ninja work up here. Yeah. There it is. I'm just using the Graph Tech blade holder from my actual graph tech cutter here. I just pulled out the blade holder, the CB09. All right, so let's flip this over now. Job just so you can see how much quicker. So that's a huge thing right there. How much quicker that actually cut. And the reason why it cut so much quicker is because it didn't have to do a double cut. We just did a single cut. So now I'm gonna see if I can do this with one hand. I got to hold it with my elbow here and look at that. How sweet is that when it comes to weeding? So I'll show you here. If I just grab my material here, pull this up and all of you guys that have trouble weeding the brick heat transfer vinyl with your silhouette cameos. Now you can't tell me that it doesn't cut. Look at how good that cut right there. And I just did that with one hand while holding my phone to show you that. And that's a nice clean cut right there. Um, a wired connection. I'm, I have my Cameo wired right now. I just have a extended, oh, sorry. I have an extended USB headed over to my cutter there. All right, what other questions we got? We all good? <clears throat> so, again, whole goal, show you screen print transfers, knock them out, whether you get them from 613, whether you get them from f and wherever you get them, okay? Get them from a place that makes sense for you and you can make a freaking boatload of money. So on that one order right there, okay, on that one order right there, with labor cost and everything, selling dry fit shirts, okay? Listen to me here. Selling dry fit shirts at $8 each with those screen print transfers. 300 shirts we made, we, we profited with our transfer cost, our setup cost, our shipping, our shirts, our labor cost, around $950 in the three and a half hours it's gonna take Devin to press those. Three and a half hours of work, $950. Can you beat that? It's tough, right? Take advantage of it. Don't turn down orders. All right, crew. Designing with Matt tonight, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's 2.40 now, 9 p.m. <coughs> Eastern. We're going to be going over the text effects tab, creating some different layouts of templates, show you how I do them, and then, of course, you'll get the live templates in the act that we create in the... Um, in the premium webinar for free so we'll create a minimum of two probably three and you'll learn how to do them yourself which is the main goal to teach you some little bit more advanced features in the trw design wizard and corel to help your business and be a little bit different right so i'll get this video posted here in a little bit on youtube check it out and then i will see a lot of you guys later on tonight 9 p.m i crew have an amazing day. Thanks for coming by. You guys are awesome. Later.